Today on Queen City Minis and More Folks, we are looking into Conquest, The Last Argument of Kings, and specifically how to get started here in 2023 with your host, Vanguard J. So guys, if you want to see any of the kits that we show off today, make sure you head to the Start Here page on the Conquest eShop store to view any of these products. And if you want to get your own, use code Queen City at checkout to get 10% off your purchase. A small proceed helps the channel tremendously, and we greatly appreciate all of those who have already used our code. Alrighty guys, so let's talk about where to get started with the Conquest system, let's call it. So the game is from Parabellum War Games, and they have models that can be used actually in two games. So you have two different ways to play, kind of like you have Warhammer 40,000 and Warhammer Kill Team. Conquest has Conquest First Blood, which is a small skirmish game, usually uses about 10 to 12 models, kind of depending on what models you choose in a small skirmish style game, usually with like one character and then just a couple guys with it. So it's super easy to get into, and they have some starter sets specifically for that. And I'll do a separate video on getting started with First Blood. Now, the main focus of this channel is The Last Argument of Kings. This is your large-scale rank-and-flank style game that uses blocks and stands of miniatures rather than individual models, which is usually what I tend to play. In this guide, guys, we're going to focus on The Last Argument of Kings. All right, guys, so the big argument I see a lot of players kind of toying with is do I start with a two-player starter set for The Last Argument of Kings or do I start with a one-player starter set? Now, to make this decision, we kind of have to see how armies really get going and how you kind of build your army in this game. So when we look into the core mechanics of this game, building an army revolves around a hero. So you basically have to have a hero to form what's called a warband. And a warband is a group of units that are under that character. Now, this is usually up to four with a minimum of one because the character does have to have a unit that he can go into. Now, each character can bring different units in their warband. So if we look on unit profiles, it will say what units they can bring. Now, this can be something you really need to focus on when you build your army because you may have a unit that you absolutely love and that you want to bring and you have to take the character that can bring those units just to warn you so you may want to do some research before you purchase either the one player starter set or the two player starter set or even individual units to make sure you're building your army correctly i would hate for you to buy a unit and then go to make a list and then only find out hey the only people that can bring this one specific unit is a character I don't have. That's a feel-bads moment and not really great moving forward. So make sure you're doing your research on that. Now each character is also going to have these units listed in kind of two different sections. So the first one is a mainstay unit. A mainstay unit, you can take up to four of those for each character. All right, they're kind of like the main guys he likes to hang out with. And then after that, guys, you have what are called restricted choices. So restricted choices, you can have one of those for each mainstay in the army, which is a big difference. So at most, each character could only have two restricted options as long as they took two of the mainstay options. Now the hero itself can join any unit in the warband, but, you know you are limited on those restrictions. So make sure you're following those and watching those really closely and building your army correctly. Now you can have as big of a restricted unit as you wanted to. If you wanted to have little two, three man units of your mainstay and then two 40 man stand regiments of your restricted, you can do that. That's perfectly legal. But guys, you have to have the mainstay to bring those restricted options. And usually the restricted options are your more elite infantry, like Dragon Slayers, Steel Legion, um, Marksman Clones. Let's see here. Uh, we did Dragon Slayers, uh, the Praetorian Guard, things like that. So a lot of times those are really high points value units that you also don't have a ton of too. So it makes sense for them to be restricted options. Now to view unit profiles you're going to go onto the Parabellum's main website. You're going to click on the rules and FAQ tab. Up here I've got an arrow pointing to it. It's usually on that left hand side. You can also access it from hitting the game tab up in the upper right and you'll see a drop down that says rules and FAQ from there. 
Now, once that's open, you can either hit the core rules button, the little plus mark, to open up all the various core rules like the scenario packs, the rule book itself, or the erratas. Now, make sure you do select the correct language and also pay attention to the date that it was updated. But to find your army profiles and your unit profiles, you're going to hit the army list and hit the plus button next to it. All right, so once that opens up, it'll bring up all the army lists for the last argument of kings. Make sure you're looking at the correct army list for your faction, as well as the most up-to-date version of it. Now, these are just English versions of the army list which are currently available. Parabellum stated that they are working on translations, but they will only be posted once they're available, and they don't have a hard set date on when things like the German and French versions will be available worldwide. All right, guys, so after you look through your army list and kind of see the units and the characters that you want to build, it's time to build an army list. So the best way to do this is through the army builder listed on the Parabellum's website. Make sure you do prepared for war when you go to build your army. And I would, I would aim really to do a 1,000-point army to start with. Usually this is your starter set in addition to like one character and one more unit that you can play with. Get those built up and play some games with them. If you're not sure how to play, I would check the Vanguard of your local area. So for those of you who don't know, I'm a Vanguard. I'm Vanguard J. I work here in the Charlotte area mainly through the Mighty Meeple store. Now, a lot of stores in the area that carry Conquest products will have a Vanguard. They are your friendly local gamers who are here to help you learn the game, as well as run local events like learning leagues and tournaments. So figure out who that is and just shoot them a message on the social media platform of their choice, whether it be Discord, Facebook, Instagram, whatever, and ask them to get a learning game in. Learn how to play with that thousand points, get some games in and get some various opponents, and learn about your army and figure out what you need to add to it. Do you need some shooting to help you with the early stage like wound pick off or to help like snipe out big monsters while your melee units are in range with them or do you need a strong melee unit to hold the center line something with high defense that can help you hold objectives and you're really going to learn that just by playing the game and getting some rounds in so now after you've done that you can start adding to your army fill up some gaps just add some interesting units that you see come out or some characters that you think may be cool to do but guys that's going to be kind of the basics of getting started with conquest but guys we're going to expand this kind of series even more we're going to do videos for each faction itself as well as do unit breakdown videos for all the units moving forward it's mainly starting with the nords because they're going to be one of the two factions in the two player starter set and they're a faction that's kind of been around for a little bit longer than all the other ones. But guys, if you've enjoyed this video and you want to see more of the series, make sure you subscribe down below and make sure you hit that like button. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching Queen City Minis and more folks, signing out.